Welcome to new Selfish S podcast and this time around I want to compare the speed between the Sony Xperia 10 Plus uh, versus the Sony Xperia XA2. So let's start by starting the browser. One, two, three. And you can see slightly ahead the 10 Plus. The next thing we want to start is the Yola store. And again, slightly ahead, the 10 plus. And also in terms of loading times, it's a bit faster. Then the next thing we want to start is the gallery. One, two, three. And again, slightly ahead, the 10 plus. The next thing we want to start is the settings. One, two, three. And again, I had the 10 plus. Then the next thing we want to start is the clock. One, two, three. And interestingly enough, here the XA2 is faster. Then the next thing is uh, media. Yeah. Give it an edge to the XA2, I think. It was loading a bit quicker when it comes to loading the media. Then the next thing is uh, the calculator. And the next thing is the file browser, FileCat. One, two, three. And again, a bit quicker on the 10 plus. The next thing is LL's video player, one, two, three. And I think this was the XA2. And the next thing is uh, PeepMuts, the Twitter client, one, two, three. Ah, almost on the same time, I would say. Not much difference. And then Quickdit, the Reddit client, one, two, three. And a lot quicker on the Xperia 10. The next thing is uh, Voyager, which is the Together Yola client, one, two, three. I think almost on the same time. In terms of loading times, maybe the 10 plus a bit quicker. Uh, the next thing is uh, G-Potter, one, two, three. And again, slightly quicker on the 10 plus. Then we also want to open up an Android application to see which runtime is quicker. And for this test, I will open up the Fennec F-Droid browser, which is a, um, basically Firefox from the F-Droid store. One, two, three. And you can see a lot quicker on the 10 plus also in terms of loading time. This time around both are loading, should load. Oh, this one is loading something else. Different website, interesting. Um, and last but not least, of course, the terminal. One, two, three. And again, as you can see, a lot quicker on the 10 plus. So the new processor Snapdragon 6 36 is uh, quicker than the 630. So in terms of multitasking, you can see all of the application running here. In this case, it's not connecting to a website. Um, but in this case, you can see all the applications still running, nothing closed. You can see it on the tiles itself. Don't need to open them up one by one, as you can see here. So in general, I would say uh, the Xperia 10 Plus is a lot quicker than the XA2. A lot. Mm, it depends. On Android applications, definitely. On other applications, it's um, very, 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 very um, close. So I would say, in general, okay, the 636 Snapdragon processor on the 10 Plus is quicker than the 630, but 
in general usage, if you don't compare them side by side, you will, will not notice something very, very dramatically better on the 10 plus in terms of opening and loading times. So this is everything for this little um, video. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.